Rank these players. Sergio Aguero, Wayne Rooney, Ooh. Luis Suarez, Didier Drogba, Gary Henry, and Harry Kane. <laughs> is, that all? is it just on their Premier League career? Okay, if it's just for their Premier League career, this is where I'm going to go. Henry, Rooney, Aguero, Kane, Drogba, Suarez. That's my ranking. But how can I say Suarez is last, bro? If it's who do I think is the best player? No, forget about what they did. Forget. Hold on. Scrap that. Scrap that. I this is how I view football. You guys know that. I don't give a shit about their body of work or whatever. Who's the best players here? Number one is Luis Suarez. Number two is Thierry Henry. Number three is Harry uh, is Wayne Rooney. Excuse me. Number four is Aguero. This last one is tough. Five is Kane. Six is Drogba. But it's close. It's closer than people think. Suarez and Henry is interchangeable, but I can't lie. Suarez's peak is crazy, guys. I'm not. I'm not going Premier League. I'm talking overall as a player at their best. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think drug, uh, Suarez and Henry are for me one and two. Rooney for me is clear third. Aguero is four, and then Drogba and Kane. Depends on what you're looking for. As a finisher. I think Kane is the better finisher. Uh, as a playmaker, I think Kane is a better passer. As an all-around wall in terms of bringing others into play, it's Drogba. In terms of who I want on... <laughs> With my life on the line in, in a big game, it's Drogba. Back to the to goal play is Drogba. In the air, it's Drogba. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. But in the Premier League, if you're going purely Premier League career, Henri, Rooney, Aguero. I think, I think Suarez has to be last if it's just Premier League just because of how short he did it for. <laughs> Drogba, Kane, Suarez maybe. I don't know. that. Suarez, right, so Drogba and Kane is tough for me. Put. Okay, so this is, they're doing it Premier League only. Two, okay. one, reveal. Henri, Henri. Yeah, Henri, Rooney, Aguero. Okay, so Tom has... I know he's a big Drogba fan, so he has Drogba fourth. James has Henri, Rooney, Kane, Suarez, Drogba, Aguero. That's that's the worst list. Aguero last is horrific. Yeah, Aguero last Henry, is horrific. Rooney, that's a Henry, bad take. Aguero is fourth. Aguero is fifth. Aguero is third. Suarez bottom. So, oh my God. So, Rory is Rooney on... Rooney first. Wow. Drogba third. Aguero fourth. Kane fifth. Suarez sixth. You've got Suarez bottom. You two are quite similar. You two are... I mean, you've got Henri at the... Yeah, just, just shout away, John lads. Henri is the best Premier League footballer of all time, in my opinion. Agreed. So, he has, to, he has to go at the top. Rooney's not far off him. And there's an all-round package and longevity. Agreed. And the age he came into... I think Rooney, league. guys, is extremely disrespected. Rooney, when it comes to naming the best Premier League players of all time, for me, is the most disrespected player of any of those elite level guys. Because if you want to split up every single player into categories in terms of how they rank, if you want to do that, let's say silverware. Rooney won five Premier League titles. Henri did not win five. If you want to look at goals, Rooney scored more goals in the Premier League than Thierry Henry. If you want to look at assists, Rooney assisted more goals in the Premier League than Thierry Henry. If you want to go longevity, Rooney played for longer in the Premier League than Thierry Henry. Now, if you want to ask me who do I think is the better player, I think it's Thierry Henry. But if you want to actually talk about who's the greatest Premier League player of all time, Rooney for me is top three easily. Easily. And I think he might be top two as well too. There isn't a single metric in which he lacks in. I test. He's a brilliant footballer as well too. Could win a game for you without scoring or assisting. Can play in multiple positions. Like Rooney for me definitely is, is the most slept on Premier League all-timer in my opinion. Like he is probably the greatest Premier League player for the greatest Premier League club. Henry is the better player for me. So I don't mind putting Henry first. If I like the way I view football, who's the best player? That's how I view it. Henri. But if you guys want to go off the way football Twitter likes doing, oh, longevity and stats and all. Rooney's, he checks every single box, bro. So I, I never understand why Twitter leaves him out of all these discussions, to be honest with you. And even at Everton, when he was way past his best, was still was scoring. Best player, yeah, still their best yeah, player. I don't agree. Rooney, Rooney, his last two or three years in England was was actually, it hurt me to watch him. Last season at Everton, last season at United, and I would even say second last season at United, it physically pained me to watch Wayne Rooney play for Man United. Honestly, that as someone who like idolized him, I have his, I have, he signed my kit, bro. Rooney's like my goat, but it, it hurt me to watch him those last few years. So I... Best I know he's trying to win an argument here, but... In, the Premier, in Premier Street, and was actually underrated outside of scoring, could dribble, could drop in, could shoot from range. Facts. I've got Drogba fourth, because I just think what Drogba could do as a sole striker, not many players have done that in the Premier League for a team that Yeah, 15-16, well. it hurt to watch him, himself bro. in terms of goals for the sake of people like Lampard and others who would score. Can I change one? Off. Can I make on. one change? Um... No, and he's not on the chase. Best season, scored 29 goals in 31 games, which shows with no taking penalties either. But he can do that if he needed to or wanted to. We but won the doubles as well, Dave. Sacrificed himself. For, for the likes of Anelka, Maluda, Drogba was a very selfless player, similar to Rooney. Like the one true. season Rooney had scoring 30 goals. He could do that if he needed to. It's true. Came fifth because, look, his goal record. Guys, that's actually such a good point, right? Rooney could easily have broken Alan Shearer's record, in my opinion. If, like, as crazy as this sounds, if Wade Rooney wanted to, he could have broken Alan Shearer's record. He hated playing up front. 
He hated playing as a lone nine. He even, like his best statistical seasons were 09-10 and 11-12. And he says those were my least favorite seasons because he wasn't touching the ball enough. He was basically having to sacrifice parts of the game he enjoyed to, to do something for the team. If Rooney played as a lone nine his entire career for Man United, he would have broken Alan Shearer's record in my opinion. It's insane, but I do think we need to take into consideration finals and just mm, doing it at the things. top level like Drogba did and Aguero, Rooney, Omri. Suarez sixth only for the basis. He was there a year and a half. And look, he's, it was unbelievable. Was it 31 in 33? But like, yeah. Drogba got a similar to that in a season and was there for 10 plus years yeah, and won multiple true. trophies. Suarez never won any. Suarez has to be last in this. Okay, James, what you took like a bit of an annoyance with one of them there. Yeah. And what did you change as well? So the change I've made is, so I've gone Henri, Rooney. Aguero last. Yes, I'll get there. Calm down, take a breath. That's a weird one. <laughs> Henri, Rooney, Kane, Suarez, Drogba and Aguero. Now, th this is very difficult, but when I'm put piecing it together, it's a few different things. I think it's longevity. I look at it differently and I'm disappointed in you. If it's longevity, then how can Suarez be above Aguero? The list well, is, is I would imagine null and void. an underdog fan of West Brom, generally in this space, Whoa. you would see, absolutely, you would see that what Kane has achieved at Tottenham is outrageous. Yeah, 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 I'll do And I'll the do final thing is where I gasp because the final thing is a nonsense. It's, and it, it's a nonsense I know. because it's Tottenham playing against one of the greatest Liverpool sides yes. that there's ever been. No, but this is, I don't like this argument with Kane, right? Because Kane was playing for a great Spurs team and he was playing against Chelsea. He was playing against, he was playing against teams that Spurs were, were competing for in the league. He was, they were competing with them. And then also, that doesn't even excuse all the times that Kane's Tottenham got eliminated before the final. The teams at their level are worse. Let's look at 17-18, or yeah, 17-18, for example. Why was Mourinho's Man United, who were basically carried by De Gea all year, beating Kane's Spurs in a, fi in a semi-final? Go ahead, And continue. he's coming back and he's not fit. People go, well, don't play then. He go, shut up. Kane's always going to play in that final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were also undone in the first five minutes by a stupid handball. So you can't put all of that on Kane. In terms of... Um, I'm not, but can I just quickly say what I meant by that is you can't ignore the fact Drogba did it in 10 plus finals and won, whereas Kane hasn't. So Kane's amazing, but that's the only reason I'd, I'd edge it Drogba. I understand that. The reason Drogba went down for me is the consistent ability to yeah. be prolific. He's not as prolific and as the rest the reason, of them. But the reason it's why true. he's above Aguero, who's miles more prolific than Drogba, is that... And, People will hate this, all Man City fans hate this, and I get it, but I can't, I can't help how I feel. He was playing for a Man City side that would allow him chance after chance after chance after chance, and if Harry Kane was in that Man City team, he would score more goals. I think Su Suarez would score as many, Rooney. Oh man. Nah, bro, I don't agree, man. And even if, even if Kane did score as many goals as Aguero did for, for City, Kane has also shown that it's not a guarantee just that you join the best team that you're gonna win. Aguero was scoring in the biggest games every single season. Aguero, before Salah has just come onto the scene and destroyed it, Aguero was the best big game player in Premier League history. You look at his goals as the top six, he's murdered every one of them. So to say, to act now like, oh, he's being fed chances at, uh, with, with, with Man City and like, oh, what if you put Kane that? Aguero was doing it in the biggest moments every single season. He has the biggest moment in Premier League history. When Man City needed a guy to go to, it was Aguero. So look, I don't want to take away from Kane because in the past, Kane never had that opportunity at Spurs. But what he's doing Doing is taking away from Aguero. Aguero did it when it counted. T to say, oh, he did it at City is, is 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 unfair on him. You still have to do it. Rooney is a more well-rounded player than than a lot of these guys on this list. And Drogba in finals is a joke. And so for that reason, I, I always end up coming back on who would I pick if I'm picking teams? What is Aguero better than Kane at? For me, creating his own chances. Aguero, you can give him the ball in the top of the box and he can dribble through three, four, put it top corner. Finishing is close. They're both extremely good finishers, like A-star level finishers. But I think Aguero's ability to kind of create an, a half chance for himself, create a, a, a yard of space for himself, uh, like the way he, 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 what's it called? He dips his shoulder, the, 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 the low center of gravity, the balance, the, the dribbling. He's almost like a bowling ball at times. You can't shake him off the ball. I think that's, that side of it is, is Aguero's strength compared to Kane. And I would pick Drogba ahead of Aguero. But the Aguero one doesn't make, he's got the be get best goals per night in Premier League. Like, he was an elite, fin he didn't need 100 chances. Do you know what? Suarez true. did actually. Suarez prolific. did need multiple yeah. chances. True. He, Suarez wasn't a prolific finisher. But he was also yeah. playing in a team where he had to go and create those chances himself as well. Oh, and yeah, you yourself in the first that. round yeah, yeah. was going on about Salah and the goals that he scored. Not like and, Aguero. And yes. kind of not like Aguero. It's not all about that. It's about Hazard. It's about those footballers. It's about other things as well. So Suarez, Suarez is a better footballer. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> How's he talk? Get the hell off my screen. How's he talking about Hazard now? Hey, James, you ain't slick, man. Suarez is a better footballer than probably everyone on this list if we're being Facts. in their careers. But just in the Premier League era, you, you have to take into it. It was account. almost at like the beginning of it. That it's, launched it's, ha it's how little yeah, he yeah. was there. It's how little yeah, he was there. You just I can't, get that. You can't have him. That I don't hard. mind you dropping him down for that, but I, I, I'd have to pick him over Aguero. I think he's everywhere. I, I'm the only one. I think, I think with Suarez, the reason he's bottom isn't because I don't rate him. Yeah, he's bottom. 100%. He's bottom just. just there, he doesn't have. He didn't do it for long enough. Long yeah. yeah. And I think he has to be bottom when you look at who he's up against. If we were talking about maybe the best striker on the list, it would be a different order. If we were talking about certainly, if we were talking about the best single season. So the, the if best it's single a time season, period, then Kane should be higher, shouldn't he? The, the, the problem. Uh, I was no, very. All these have, do have longevity. I was very. I, mean, one, I found one Kane and Aguero really difficult. I've, I've, I found Kane and Aguero really mm. difficult because I rate Kane so highly. What? Nah, there's no way Kane is above Aguero, man. And every single match, bar longevity and bar like staying fit, that's what Kane has above Aguero. If Aguero played 38 games a season, the numbers would, would be in Aguero's favor, in my opinion. I find it impossible to put him above Aguero, just trophy hall. Yeah, I could. I know, yeah, there's I know, I know. But it's... Trophy Hall's so, not fair. But at some He's playing point, in a crap team. At some point, it has to come into He wasn't it. playing in a crap team. team. Why have we rewritten the fact that Harry Kane played for, like, these scrubs? Spurs were contending for leagues under him, bro. And granted, he was helping them do that. But why have we rewritten the narrative that now, all of a sudden, Kane never played in any good Spurs teams? Why is that the narrative now? Also, also, uh, not, he wasn't always playing in a crap team. As Tottenham fans will tell you, they were the best team over two calendar years. <laughs> yeah, that's you true. Know, and also, was Aguero, a crap team. Aguero was signed before they won the title. Mm. Correct. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. There. So, so he propelled them yeah. to win a league title. He so won he them the league. No, it's, come on, he did. He, he, no, he, no, he did. But yeah. Man City, we, we were, we were you can't take that away. Yeah. And his goal per game record is it's all great. Great. unreal. Know, goal, per, goal per goal per minute uh, ratio. Old ground. We played him in the we played him in the Champions League. Destroyed and them. Oh my God! The free kick in the volley. You know when you can see it dropping. You just like like it was it was an amazing away. It was like totally open air. Yeah, I remember. And it and it went straight. The second it left his foot, you knew it was in. And we all basically went. We got to yeah. sign him. Like yeah, this is yeah, it. like yeah. this is it. Like we got to sign him, and we didn't. Does Aguero score as many goals in the Tottenham team, or do any of these other? No. Players? Yes. Yes, he does. I saw him do it for Atletico Madrid, who were actually a crap team. Atletico Madrid, guys, with Aguero there and Forlan there, they actually stunk. This isn't Simeone Atletico. That team was crap, and Aguero scored bucket loads of goals, bro. As a kid as well, too. No, same that's same a great, goals, no, not. that's a great argument. That matters. No. But I don't think. But Kane wouldn't score the goals Aguero did for City because Kane wouldn't play that way. Kane, I think he would. He would. He would. I think he, he would, would because he'd want to. Kane would score goals everywhere he goes. So that's like one doesn't mind staying. Tom, I reckon, like Harlan, Kane, Tom, I reckon Kane, Kane would have scored the goals Harlan scores because Kane doesn't play that way. Kane would have scored more than Harlan. I think they would play differently. Huh? I reckon Kane they would play differently. If you don't, because he would never play the way Now, nah, when you're talking about elite level goal scorers, guys, these guys will score 20 plus anywhere they go. Like, I don't agree with that. Play on the last shot. I think Harlan. He wouldn't, he wouldn't have the would, when, is, when would Kane ever play? Like, he does, that's how he should play for England, and he doesn't. He wants to drop in and get involved. Mm. Just because stay in the box and finish it. Who's the more arguing though? Kane I can't lie. <laughs> Kane. So if he's in the box, his movement will be better, but and he'll create scores, and he's a better finisher as well. He, he wouldn't be in the box as much as Harlan, because he'd be f***ing about on the, on the halfway line, trying to play passes I'm in, in the I'm surprised. The, two, the only things that uh, I'm kind of really different. Top. Yeah. I'm Over surprised. Omri? Yeah. The answer's Ooh. always Omri. Omri the answer's always Omri. No, but I don't think it's a given like that. I know it what you're doing. Your, your thing is the final thing with, with Omri, isn't it? Yeah. That's what you I don't like about him. I think it's... Then if that's the case, then Kane can never be above Aguero for for Rory. I'm sorry, that should have been his first argument if it's about finals. No, because when we're judging players of this quality, we have to look... What is Rooney's final record saying anyways, by the way? Bar the Champions League final in 2011 that we lost, what is Rooney's final record saying? Yeah, I, I don't know about the, the, the final thing. Rooney doesn't have this great finals reputation. Something to separate. Am I missing them? something? Oh. Rooney and in Thierry finals. Henry, when it really mattered for Arsenal, he wasn't a big what game player. What massive him? games when he's, got, he's, he's ran off the length of the pitch to score? Like yeah, in, in when you say massive, that's a North London derby. Yeah, yeah, it's massive. Ah, hold on, my fault, my fault. I remember the, the FA Cup final in 2010. No, Carling Cup in 2010 against Villa, he scored. It's a massive game. It's not in terms of opposition. It's like when Chelsea play QPR, it's a big game for Arsenal. What about all the goals against United, Chelsea? Do you know what I'd say? The thing with... Henri, right? And you look at all these guys, different eras, right? When I mean, you think of the best and the rest, Henri at his best, I, I mean, I think maybe uh, aside from Ronaldo in his best years, he's the furthest away from the next best in the league at that, yes, at that I time. Agree. I, I agree. I think with Rooney, Rooney wasn't even the best player in his team. Yeah, that's fair. Because Ronaldo. Yeah, Ronaldo. 
And yeah. also, no, going fair. back to what you said about that. the way it makes Henri's a better player, player than, no than Rooney for me. No feel the way Henri did. Like, oh my God, Henri's playing yeah. terrible. No. When he comes to the Hawthorns... Henri like, oh at his best is special, Henry, guys, honestly. Yeah. Like, That's why for me, the Twitter the Twitter narrative the other day was hilarious to me. Henri at his best is just... Remotely, to be honest. The king. Because he was England star, but... Omri was like, oh my I think god, if you're, I'm ta- if you're tapping Omri. into the, if you're tapping into the emotion of it, week, if, you, not, no if, if you're tapping into the emotion of it, if you're tapping into the way that he looked on the pit, incredibly handsome, looked beautiful, the va va boom, and thing. the 20 goals, 20 assists, and all yeah, that, and if, winning if, if, invincible that league well. titles, that cups. Well. But, but equally, you're talking about the flair, aren't you? You're talking. About I have the same list as Tom as well. Arrogance, yeah, he was, he was yeah. just, he was just, he's if, the best. If you're comparing, Kane and Drogba's interchangeable. If you're bringing that, I would give it to into it, then it's Omri. But I think just for sheer consistency. Through sheer brilliance, through relentlessness, that that team that was built by Ferguson, that where Rooney was the jewel in the crown, through it's not what, true, 07, 08, 09. He wasn't. Yeah, and and one thing I'll say as well too with Rooney, and this is my goal. But when Rooney was the best player on Man United, Man United didn't always win the league, guys. Like 09, 10, we didn't win the league, and it's not his fault. But Man United won the league when we had RVP, and we won the league when we had Ronaldo. But Rooney's two out of three teams that he drove as the main guy, two of them didn't win those leagues. And hey, we came damn close. We, we lost the league by a point and by goal difference. I'm not trying to blame Rooney here, but saying Sir Alex built the team around Rooney and that was like the, the core, the, the heart of like his best teams ever. Rooney was the best player on... Sir Alex is probably weaker teams, to be honest with you. When 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 United were at their very best under Sir Alex, Van Nistelrooy was the best player. R- Ronaldo was the best player. Uh, Eric Cantona was the best player. David Beckham was the best player. Van Persie in 12-13. Rooney, when he was the best player, didn't always equate to United winning the league. That's all I'll say. For me, R- Rooney is our greatest ever player in terms of the longevity, the goals, all that stuff, big game performances. But I do think you have to keep that into, into account. Ronaldo was? True. Well, we got to one Champions League final with Rooney as our best Ronaldo player. Ronaldo was able to be so brilliant. I agree. Way Rooney was on but the he pitch. still wasn't the star. He, he was, he yeah, was, he was a start. bit of a water carrier in comparison. All right, stop. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> stop. Stop. Okay, lads. Okay. Rooney, a water carrier. Nah, harsh. 